welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java project which is entitled as human resource management system so now let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project using java netbeans ide 8.2 so first open netbeans ide 8.2 and now load the project so go to file menu and click open project now select the source code location and click open project and kindly wait till the complete project is loaded into the NetBeans IDE it takes few seconds or minutes and also please note that before executing the project Make sure that you have already attached the database in the MySQL database. Now the complete project is loaded into the NetBeans IDE. Now just right click it and click run. Now you can see the welcome screen of the project with the project title Human Resource Management System. And here you can see the entities, the employee and the admin. So first let me go to the employee part. So as I am a new employee, I'll be going for the registration part first. So this is the employee registration. So enter the details of your name, email ID, date of birth, gender, mobile number, address and you can choose your profile picture and select your password and then click sign up and now you can see the registration is successful and click OK now it navigates to the employee login part just log in with the credentials that you have already entered during the registration part and click login now you can see the login is failed because the admin should approve this employee and only after that the employee able to log in with this credential so click ok now now go to the admin part so now here you can see the admin details so enter the admin credentials and click login and once the login is success you can see the welcome screen of the admin so here you can see the option of employees add salary add project salary details project details project report leave reports grabs and logout so let me show you one by one the first we'll go for the employees part so in the employees part you can see who are all the employees available so these are the employee details so here you can see the detail of the employee that i have registered right now that is jay prakash you can see the status is the status of it is is it is waiting so only if it is approved this employee can be able to log in so the admin checks the information given by the employee and once if it is employee details are correct so the admin is going to give the approval so just I'll give approve so you can see the employee is being approved now and here you can see the status is changed to approved now okay and once if they need no need and if they did not the correct employee they can admin has the right to delete this uh, in uh, employee instead of giving approval so now let me log out of admin part let me go to the employee details now let us check with the credential that we have entered and click login and now you can see the login is success now and click ok and now you can see the welcome screen of the employee with the profile details with which we have given during the registration part and here you can see the employee details has the salary details project details project report leave report and logout so first let me go to the salary details 
so here you can see it is empty the project details is empty project report is empty and leave report is empty as it is a new user there is no information available now let me go to the admin part so in the admin part let us go to the add salary and let us add the salary to the employee that we have added now so this is the employee jay prakash so let us add the salary for the month of may the amount is 15000 and then click submit so now you can see the salary is added and you can go to the next option that is add project so first let me add some project to this employee so this is the add project option so let us add some project name say example let me do voice based email system so let us uh, enter the client information and what type of project it is and who's the developer or the project manager for it so let us select the employee of it and developing platform java and database technology mysql um you can enter the description of the project and you can enter the description of this project and you can click submit and now you can see the project is added and here you can once after adding the salary and project details you can see check the salary details of all the employees here in that main part so with the employee id the employee name the amount and the month and transaction date and time and next you can check the project details so what all the projects that are assigned you can check those project details which are added with the details of project name client name project type project manager developing platform database technology description and added time and if you wanted to get the reports of the project you can check with the project report so now you can see the two types of reports now let us update the report from the employee part so let me log in with the employee part now so in the employee part earlier we have seen the project details was empty now you can see what is the project that is assigned to this use this employee is been updated here so here you can see the project details so now this employee gives a report to the project report to the admin so what all the projects assigned it will be listed over here right now there is only one project so he is going to select this project name so if there is one or more projects you can select the status of which project is done so now is updating the project report so ui part is completed so this is the report of the day and and then the employee clicks submit so now the report is added so once admin logs into the admin just admin part you can see the details over there so here in the project report now you can see the part that we have added now that is voice based email system ui part is completed and the date and time that he has updated the report now the final part is the employee leave part so here you can see the leave report of the employee so once if you wanted to submit a leave report you can able to submit the leave report for example let me select a date 9 to 
so let us update some reason for the leave and then the employee can able to submit the leave report leave request so once if the employee logs out and that been parts logged in you can check the details over there in that admin part so here let us go to the leave report so here you can see who are all the employees uh, who have applied for the leave they can check it out the employee id with the employee name the reason of the leave from date and to date and these are all the option that we have added to this uh, human resource management and the final one is like graph part here you can see some dynamic graphs so these graphs are uh, updated according to the data that we enter so there are there are three employees and three projects so that varies whenever your employees is added you can see this one and once if you wanted to export this result also you can save it save as jpeg so you can able to download the result of this graph so here you can see the graph results has been exported and uh, next graph is like you will be having with the number of reports and number of leave reports so this is also a dynamic graph which changes according to the data that we enter and this is also able to export it as print or jpeg or png format and you can see the data of the graph is been exported as and you can able to print the results of it and let us log out now and this is all about the project human resource management system in java and thank you for watching